I'm here to show you how to take five ingredients and turn them into a simple one tray supper that I think everybody here will find accessible and easy to do. I don't know that we could all achieve everything Blaze is doing, um, but we could definitely all get this one done. So we're going to take, uh, well, let me show you the five ingredients first. We're gonna take these five ingredients and turn into a simple supper during only one pan. Uh, chicken thighs, cheap and cheerful. Um, bone in, skin on is what I prefer. Of course, you can substitute chicken breast if you prefer. Uh, acorn squash, rosemary, grainy mustard, and maple syrup. So these are our five things that we went to the express lane for. And some of this you may already have in your pantry. If you're like me, I have tons of mustards and I am from upstate New York. We have gallons of maple syrup in our pantry. <laughs> um, over here are the items that I consider pantry ingredients that we're going to use. Garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper. Um, and a bonus ingredient, if you happen to have some, nutmeg is delicious on the squash, but it's optional. This is a delicious, flavorful supper. If you got nutmeg on hand, definitely pop that into your pantry pile. So, acorn squash, I love. Uh, around the holidays, we use these as little boats and serve soup in them, cut them into quarters and put our cranberry sauce in them. Oh, another dish! Up to number eight! What do you got? Um, so a tomato and a, a beefsteak tomato soup with carrots and uh, beefsteak. Yum! Get it? Beefsteak tomato soup. Very punny, Rich. Very punny, <laughs> Blaze. Okay, so we're scraping out our squash, and then we're going to cut them into uniform pieces, about a half an inch thick. The oven is preheating to 400 degrees. So. Uh, you just scatter these on your baking sheet. Dress them with olive oil, salt, pepper. And as I said, anytime I use squash or any dark green, I love nutmeg. It's also delicious in any cream sauce as well. A little salt and pepper. Hello. And a few grates of nutmeg. And then we're going to put the chicken right up on top of this in all of its saucy goodness. And the drippings will come down right over the top of the squash. So for our chicken, we're going to grate some garlic into a big old mixing bowl. Uh, then lots of rosemary. I just strip the stems, drop those into the bowl. Lots of maple and lots of mustard. I feel so lazy just making one dish with Richard cooking up like his 27th over there. Oh my God! Yes, Richard, what did you make? Uh, steak with smashed potatoes, um, some carrots and a balsamic tomato sauce. My poor little chicken has got such an anxiety complex at this point. So we're going to add salt and pepper to the bird as well. Toss the bird around. Come on in here, fellas. And then we're gonna throw the coated bird right up on top of the squash and throw the whole thing in the oven. It takes about 35 to 40 minutes at 400 degrees. And man, when it is done, it is one sexy beast. Mmm. <laughs> arrange him right down over. These are chicken thighs slathered with maple and mustard and lots of rosemary. And I just serve them up and you see the drippings, look at that, come right down over the acorn squash. You just throw it in an oven and it does its own thing in its own time. About 35 to 40 minutes tops. It's a delicious, easy weeknight supper. How about that, not bad.